Fighting is a skill, it's your strength. Now this strength is going to get used in order to speak good English and speak fluent English. We are going to use it to our advantage. Let's not think about it as a weakness. Let's think about Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me. Today I'm going to take a topic that is actually a situation faced by a lot of people. I think you must have also faced this. I got a request that was that the person can write English. You can write good English. When you write English, that is not a problem. But as soon as you speak English, you're not able to speak it fluently. Now, why does this happen? What is the solution? That was the request, that was the query. And here is the video for all of you. I am going to tell you why this happens because reason is actually important. This is a very good question raised by one of the subscribers, my YouTube family member. So this particular question must be addressed and this is going to help you a lot. Now from this question, we know one thing that writing is actually a strength. Two skills. We have two skills where we create something in English. Creation, out of which writing is a strength. Now we are going to use it to our benefit here. Yes, definitely. I'm going to tell you all the reasons you need to understand why writing is easy and speaking is difficult. And I'm going to tell you a master technique after that, a master technique through which you can actually use writing in order to improve your fluency. How you can use this particular situation to your benefit. How you can improve your fluency and overcome this particular situation. Are you ready for it? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor, certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK, and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, please subscribe this channel so that you don't miss out any lesson that I upload on this channel. Please like the video and share it with your friends too. Okay, coming back to today's lesson, why writing is easy, why you can write good English but cannot speak good English, cannot speak fluently. Now we have to understand that there are few points, few reasons. And let's look at all the reasons without wasting any time. Okay, so reason number one or the point to think over, the point to consider is that you have luxury to stop and think. You have the luxury to stop and think. That's actually a luxury that you have while you're writing in English. See, writing in English is a slow process as compared to speaking in English. When you write, you have time to think and analyze what you are going to write. But when you're speaking, you don't have time to stop and think. You don't have the liberty to think. Think continuously, think on an extended time period, construct every sentence with careful deliberation, no, you don't have that kind of liberty on your hand. Thinking is a very spontaneous process. You don't have time to think. Stop and think. Every response that you have to produce is going to be spontaneous. And that is why speaking is sometimes difficult. Speaking is not fluent. That's why you feel that you're not fluent while speaking in English. Because you don't have time to think. And the spontaneous speaking comes with lots of experience, practice and knowledge. So you have to still cover lots and lots of things in English to be able to speak fluently, that is to think. And one thing to achieve is to think in English so that your thinking power in English is quick. Comparatively, it's quick you will be able to answer more spontaneously. You will be able to speak English more spontaneously if you have the ability to think in English. But most of the time, that is what is happening. While you're speaking, you don't have that much time. But when you write, when you write something down, you have all the time on your hand. 
So you can think about what kind of word you're choosing to write, the vocabulary, you can write it down, you can construct the sentences, you can check your tenses. You might have good knowledge about tenses, but when you're speaking something, you don't have time to check what you're speaking. And hence, lots of time people who actually know tenses ends up using a wrong tense when they are speaking. So this problem arises because you have to be more spontaneous in your speaking, right? So the thing is that when you write, you have all the time. What you can even do is you can revisit. That is, you have written something, you think it's not correct, you have the liberty to delete it in your MacBook and rewrite it. Writing an email, you can rewrite it. But when you're speaking, once you've spoken it, it's out, it's done. So that is the thing. You have the luxury to stop and think. That's why writing is easier and more accurate than speaking. Reason number two. Reason number two is you can recheck and correct the errors. When you're writing something, you have the liberty to recheck it and then correct the errors. Imagine you're writing an application or maybe an email. If you recheck it, and you've made some errors, you correct them, nobody will actually know. You have that liberty to recheck things and then correct all the errors. And hence, the final product is then more refined. That's why your writing is more refined because you can recheck it, you can correct your errors, you have that liberty. You can do that when you're writing something. But when you're speaking, once you've spoken something, that's it, that's out. Even if you're correcting your mistake, right? Still, it's there. It's there. It's known by everybody. You realize it, that you have made the mistake. That's why you think that speaking is difficult. That's why speaking seems more difficult and a task that is like how to do it. That's why fluency in English takes time because you have to eventually overcome those errors. When you're writing something, it's okay. You can recheck, you can correct the errors, then you can send it to the other person. When the person reads it, the other person reads it. It's going to be a refined version that you have revisited, rechecked, maybe once, twice, thrice, as many times as you want to. But when you're speaking, you don't have that liberty. You cannot recheck and then correct the errors. You can reframe a sentence definitely, but still. That's why when you compare your speaking to writing, you think that writing is better. You're good at writing. You're doing more error-free writing than the speaking. Reason number three. Reason number three is writing is individual task, whereas speaking is social task. Now, you must think that writing is also used to communicate. Obviously, yes, you have reading material with you. You write emails, applications, assignments, and all that. Obviously, but still writing is an individual task. You're doing it all alone. You're doing it by yourself. As I said earlier, that you have the liberty to think about things and also the liberty to recheck and correct the errors. So that's an individual task. You're more comfortable while doing it. You're doing it at your own pace, with your own comfort zone. Whereas when you speak, as soon as you start speaking, you're speaking to somebody. There's an audience who's there to receive whatever you're saying. They're going to listen to it. And hence, you might get nervous. You might make mistakes. And that nervousness, that fear of judgment may cause you to fumble, to make mistakes, and all the other things, all the other issues that you face while speaking English. That's why writing is more comfortable, more accurate than speaking. That's why. Speaking needs more courage, confidence, because it's a social task. When you speak, you speak in a certain group. There is going to be always an audience that is there to hear you. Because speaking is the most common form of communication in any language, even more than the writing. So that's why you feel difficulty while speaking and writing is easy. Reason number four. Now, reason number four is lack of speaking exposure that is you have a lack of speaking exposure you have not spoken the language as much as you have written it 
you have more experience of writing the language but you have less experience of speaking it most of the time it happens when you're focusing too much on academic english so you are really good at writing people say that their writing level is kind of c1 they feel like their writing level is c1 b2 but when they speak their spoken level of english is around a2 and that's common it happens and for that gap that is there if you want to bridge that gap you have to speak you have to improve your speaking skills you have to do all the necessary things that are required in order to improve your speaking skills okay now let's come to the solution now solution is this particular master technique that i told you about earlier in the video yes so in the lesson i told you that i will tell you about a master technique and that is going to be the solution so the solution to this particular thing you're writing good english and you're not able to speak as good as you write as i said writing is a skill again that you are creating creating english it's your strength now this strength is going to get used in order to speak good english and speak fluent english we are going to use it to our advantage let's not think about it as a weakness let's think about it as a strength and when we think about it as a strength we are going to use the technique that i actually told you about in one of my recent lessons this is the video the technique is wrr technique the wrr technique this is going to help you a lot so i suggest go back watch this particular lesson the technique write read repeat wrr technique it sounds so simple but read and repeat are actually two surprise stages that are going to be totally unexpected unexpected that is the secret and the main focus area of the technique that you need to actually focus on so go watch that particular lesson use this technique as a solution to overcome this problem that is the lesson for today i hope this helped you solve your query and this helped you in overcoming the problem of writing good english but not speaking good english so basically it's not a problem we think it's a problem no it's not we write good english let's use this strength of ours to overcome the other thing that you might consider as weakness but it's a part of your learning journey do not think about it as a weakness but a process of learning so that's it for today that is it i'm going to meet you in the next lesson now till then take care everybody and bye